Hi everybody and welcome to the first tutorial in a series that will guide you through building your own 8-ball pool game using JavaScript and HTML5. So before we begin, I would like to take some time to give a credit to a book that I read that inspired me of making this game. This book is called Building JavaScript Games for Phones, Tablets and Desktop and it is written by Arian Egis. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Anyway, it is a really great book and many of the topics that I'm going to talk about uh, during these tutorials are taken from here and if you would like to gather uh, deeper understanding and knowledge about those topics, I really recommend you to read this book. Alright, so let's move on. So the first thing we will do is to create a new folder for this project and maybe we should give it a significant name, something like classic pool game. Now, I will open my preferred text editor, which is in my case Visual Studio Code, and drag the newly created folder into it. Let's now create a new file, and the first file I'm about to create is the HTML file. Let's give it a name, index.html. Now, there are many neat ways to create the structure of an HTML document with Visual Studio Code. You can just write HTML and choose this option and you'll see that the structure is already built for you but I'm going to delete all that since I promised to show you how to build a game from scratch so I'm gonna write everything myself let's start with the HTML tag and inside of that I will create a head tag and a title and let's give it the same title as the folder name classic pool game um, let's create a body tag and here we will create a canvas element which will have an ID of screen and uh, with that will change in the future since the canvas is going to be adaptable to the screen size but as of right now I'm going to keep it 2000 height will be 800 for now And that's it. The HTML document is pretty much complete for this game. After we've created the canvas element on our HTML file, let's now create a JavaScript object that will let us interact with this canvas. In order to do so, we will need to create a JavaScript file. Let's call this file canvas.js. In this file, I'm going to define a function constructor. And let's call this function constructor canvas. Um, to the the object that eventually will be created using this function constructor will have two data members. The first one will be this dot canvas, which will be the canvas itself, and I'm going to fetch that from the HTML using document dot get element by ID, and here I'm going to send the ID that I gave to the canvas before a screen. As you can see, it is the same ID as the canvas on the HTML file. So the second member uh, is the canvas context. And the canvas context is an object that has certain functionalities that will make our lives much easier interacting with the canvas. So in order to get the canvas context, we'll need to approach the canvas element and ask for the context get context here I'm going to send 2d since the game is going to be two-dimensional let's think about the functionality we would like a canvas 2d object to have as of right now I can think of two things I would like to clear the canvas using this object and I would like to draw an image on the canvas using this object in order to define this behavior, we will need to use methods. Um, I will define the methods on the prototype of Canvas 2D. Let's do it right now. So Canvas 2D dot prototype dot clear equals a function. And here I'm going to use uh, the clear rect function of the Canvas context. Um, let's write canvas context 
dot clear rect and it will need to get a, an x value and a y value a width and a height so the x will be zero since i want to clear all of the canvas and the y is zero and the width will be the canvas width dot width and the height is going to be the canvas height canvas dot height all right so let's move on to the draw image method I'm going to define it here canvas 2d dot prototype dot draw image and that will be equals a function that will get an image and a position and it will use the canvas context to draw that image on the given position so I will need to approach the canvas context and ask it nicely to draw the image for us um, I will send the image that I got and position dot x and position dot y so the next step is to see that everything that we've done so far is actually working as expected in order to do so I will go to the index.html file and add a reference to the script that we just wrote so script src and that will be equals canvas.js and that's it the second thing that we'll need is an image to check the draw image method and I already dragged the assets folder into the new folder that we've created for this project in order to find the assets folder you can go to my github page I will leave a link down in the description below and you can download the assets all right now that we are ready, let's create a new object using the function constructor that we built before. So let's call this object canvas and it will be equals a new canvas to the object. Now in order to uh, test the draw image method, I'm going to create a new image. So let's call it image and just to make it clear, I will comment here that it is just for testing okay so um, here the image will be equals a new image and here I will need to define the source for this image the path of the image image.src and that will be equals and I know the path, but if you want, if you want to uh, make sure, you can just uh, open the assets folder and see uh, where this image is. So um, I will write it down. Um, it's dot slash assets slash sprites slash spr background dot png. All right. There is an issue that we need to consider here since it's going to take a while for the image to load, but the script is going to be uh, rendered immediately. So we cannot just write something like canvas dot draw image and just send the image and um, the position that we want because that just won't work. If a open the index.html file you see that nothing is displayed on screen even though we have no errors so only for testing and to see that everything that we've done so far is working I will set a timeout down here below and inside of the callback function I will paste this code and set the timeout for one second and let's see if now that uh, that is working yes okay so now you can see that the background image uh, uh, is displayed on screen 
let's check the clear method that we wrote before. So I will just write canvas.clear and let's refresh the page and you see now that the canvas is empty. So let's go back to our code and delete this line because I prefer to see something displayed on screen before we finish the first part and let's see that everything works. Yeah, great. So this was the first part of building an 8-ball pool game using JavaScript and HTML5. Thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.